So I want to address a topic that keeps coming up and I keep getting emails and messages where people are saying, hey, I'm hearing that there is arsenic in the rice and what is the dangers? So I want to make some things clear with you about rice and arsenic. First of all, let me tell you what arsenic is. Arsenic is an element that's found in the earth. Um, arsenic, it's, it's a toxic element, which is true. Now, the next question is, is arsenic in rice? Yes, arsenic has been found in our rice, but let me share some other things with you. Arsenic has also been found in hundreds of our foods. Now, arsenic is naturally found in the soil, in our soils, in the water, and in the entire environment. So there's no way to control arsenic. There are tons and tons of toxic metals that we are exposed to every single day that you guys don't know about it. So bringing up arsenic is just a pinch of all the things that we need to be concerned about. Now, when we talk about arsenic in rice, it's grown into the rice. Um, there's something that we, we really can't help so much, but according to the FDA, what actually is in the rice is very minimal. Did you know that arsenic is also in our apples, in our apple juice? Now, Dr. Oz talked about arsenic in rice, and he also talked about it in the apple juice. So he talked about the things that we can do to either minimize it. One of the things we can do for rice is actually we can wash the rice. Now, I know when I first did my rice water video, I basically said that the nutrients is in that first rice. So if you wash it, you may wash out some of the nutrients. That's why I suggested organic rice because organic rice is harvested differently. And so therefore you won't see or you won't have the amount of arsenic that you would in possibly a different rice. Also, what you need to know is the rice that has the most arsenic is actually rice that is found in Louisiana, Texas, and Arkansas. So when you guys are buying a bag of rice, turn it over and see where that manufacturer is from. And if it's from one of those states, then you make the decision on whether you wanna buy it. But I just want to share with you guys that we are exposed to so much, not only arsenic, but we are exposed to mercury, uranium, aluminum, all those things. If you go take a look at your deodorant right now, I'm sure half of you will see that the active ingredient in your deodorant is aluminum or zirconium. So yes, we need to be more health conscious. And this is why I offer a test in my clinic where we actually can check from your hair to test to see if you have any toxic elements in your body, because you want to know. It checks for all of those, aluminum, lead, mercury, cadmium, arsenic, uranium, all of those things, tin, zirconium. It checks to see if your body has any of those. We also, my hair test also checks to see about your normal minerals to see how healthy those minerals are. Because when you're experiencing hair loss, high blood pressure, any other type of disorder, a lot of times it's because there's an imbalance in your minerals. So again, to share with you about the rice water and the arsenic, it's not enough for you to be alarmed with. Again, I suggest you get organic rice, and yes, wash the rice before you start to ferment the rice. And do most of your research so that you can find out more about all these toxic elements that we are exposed to. And you can also find out about all the different foods that you're eating every day that contains arsenic. So yes, you can still use your rice water, and when you do your research, you'll see that rice is a staple, especially here in the United States, but I think Asia got us beat in regards to it. And as long as you're eating it the right way, you're not in any danger. So I hope I answered your question about rice and arsenic. How about if you wanna know more information about how you can possibly find out if you have any toxic elements, then what I'd like for you to do is that in this video, there is going to be a link. The link will give you details to where I can send you more information because I want to make more people aware of their health, aware of the things that can cause problems, and aware of the things that we can do to get your hair healthy and get your body healthy. Let's get growing.